hi friends welcome to testing tutorials point this is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about correlation how we can able to use our with the regular expression extractor what is basically correlation correlation is the process of extracting some value from the response of the step and refer it into the request of the other subsequent step in a called as a correlation means uh, you are going to use one request here and you got the, some response body or uh, some response data that data we are extracting that and we are saving into a variable that variable value we are going to use a subsequent request which you are going to use a subsequent request there we are going to use for this value that is called as a correlation what is the requirement for that it is basically there is a uh, need to the refer the value from the earlier step which cannot be determined where to test execution as they generated at a runtime. How to use this re uh, regular expression extractor is basically we have to create one test plan here and I am going to create the test plan and I am going to add for thread group here. First step is thread group then I need to add for HTTP request and I'm going to adding for one sampler and I'm going to add for listener to view that okay here I added and I'm just I'm going to see there is a live charger or some one website which we can able to use it our condition okay live charger in one application is there it's a free uh, website and we can able to use this site to test it our kind okay and I'm just I'm passing here and I'm taking for HTTPS I'm doing here and just I'm checking whether it is working or not now this is working and we are getting for response data this is the one we are getting response data how we are going to do for that regular expression and here I am right clicking for HTTP request and I am going to post green and here we can able to see a regular expression extractor we can see some of the options here and we can able to use subsamples and JMeter variable name or else we can able to body and body documentation response headers request headers url response code response messages this all we can able to use name of the create variable this is the one we are going to use subsequent variable and here we can able to specify any name a ref value i'm going to specifying that and regular expression how we can able to create our regular expression there is a website we can able to go ahead and check that regular expression how it will be present there is a reg exr.com yeah see now here there is my regular expressions are presented here and just I'm going to do some value to copy pasting here and here to here I'm copy pasting the value and you can able to see my regular expression how the value is selected and if I'm going to this place I'm going to put some braces still it will select because why means it is a middle of that and and opposite values also it will take it and why means and if it is matching a two or three values and if you want to read and this is basically store as a group of values okay in this group of values we can able to do it dot star and question mark also it will select for the value okay this is the way we can able to do it and on our request place there is a data it is coming and I'm going to copy paste this one here for testing and I'm just I'm removing this all the values and I'm going to verify anchor tag href equal and condition and we can able to do this there are 60 eight matches and we can able to see where it is there now there are 68 hyperlinks are presented and i don't know how many how to add one 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 
if i want to add entire text it will add, it will select only for one value if you want to take the group of values means again i need to open bra brace and here dot star and question mark then close this one and braces and ending the tag then it will add for entire uh, it will select for all hyperlinks which is 68 matched okay and this is the one i'm going to copy pasting my location which is my regular expression okay and here i paste and next one is template here i can able to specify if you have the group of values then you can able to do it for uh, n number of dollar one and again dollar or if you have two groups then you can able to dollar to dollar like this you can able to add two groups is present now i have only one group that's why i'm specifying dollar one dollar okay and matches number of random numbers means if you want to specify any number but i'm going to checking for the value for four okay then i'm going to add one more sampler that is http request and i'm keeping here top and here in the regular expression there is a variable i used just i am copy pasting here and i am taking this one and coming to here creating for my regular expression uh, variable reading purpose dollar brace value braces close okay now i am just going to clear this logs and again i am going to run this one it will read the value and two requests it will pass it see and second request you can able to see the second request it is took the different value and first request is a one and second request again it is taking a different url because our regular expression it is indication for hyperlink which we are going to a reading purpose and that variable value referring variable we are passing for request here and we are reading for that value this is the way we can able to use our regular expression extractor and we can able to use it anyway without providing uh, with taking for the variable value and even we can able to extract the response data and we can able to verify any location and means any subsequent request place also we can able to verify the, those values that's all about this video if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues Thank you.